What's going on YouTube? This is Omar from Near Mint Condition and today I'm not even gonna pretend to play what's in the box. I think everybody already knows that the Colossal King Conan is in there. The final Conan in Colossal format from Dark Horse. So join me while I open this up and then talk a little bit about the book, what the contents are and what the build of the book is like. So stay tuned! Okay, well, let's get this open. Now, I took a gamble because my place that I normally get my books in stock trades didn't get their shipment in and i actually if you are missing it they are getting 43 47 books in on december 3rd and i hate to be one of those guys that's like hey the sky's falling or run for the hills but if you really are interested in owning this book and don't want to pay ridiculous third party seller prices i would definitely go that route all right let's get this opened And what I meant by I took a gamble is I ordered it from Amazon. I had it pre-ordered a couple of weeks ago once I found out that In Stock Trades didn't get their full order. Now that's because Dark Horse, of course, lost the rights to Conan and it went back to Marvel. Now let's look at what this book looks like. It's a $99 retail price. There's the spine. We'll look at what it looks like with the other two books. This is the final Conan in colossal format because... Like I said, Dark Horse lost the rights to Marvel. So it went back to Marvel, and they're going to start releasing these. So if you're at all interested in the stories in these books, Marvel's going to start releasing some epic lines. And I believe the first one with the Kurt Busiek and Gary Nord stuff is been solicited. And I like the way the spines look together. That was That's nice. And there's the Sumerian that I did an overview of a little bit ago. Let's look at the book itself. Uh, let's take the dust jacket off. Okay. So one thing I do want to say is that if you own the Conan omnibuses and you decided to go that route, you still need this book. Or you need the trade paperbacks of King Conan because these are not collected in those omnibuses now the omnibuses are of course those soft cover thick books from dark horse yeah, let's look at this real quick i'll lay it down see what it looks like much like the sumerian it lays really nice i mean it is half the thickness of the colossal conan by kurt Busiek, and it's about 608 pages now that's not even half that's like a third of its size just about that's kind of ridiculous Eh, maybe it's half. I've just always been bad at math. That's what it looks like. The spine. And let's look at the inside here. Now, what I was saying earlier before I showed it, there is a not forward by Robert E. Howard, because that dude's been dead for a long time. Nice cover by Derek Robertson. Let's get a little closer look at this. It's a beautiful cover. One of my favorite artists. And... All of this was written by Timothy Truman, and most of the art is done by Thomas Gioyero, Gioreyo, sorry. Here's a nice blue ribbon to go along with that red and orange ribbons from the previous volumes. Let's look in here while I talk a little bit about it. What I was saying earlier, though, is if you are getting these in the Conan Omnibus format, the softcover thick books, you need this book or you need to get it in trade paperback form because this book has not been collected in those those books took us all the way through mainly those two books that is all the way through volume four of the conan omnibuses but volume four also contains a lot of the conan road of kings uh mini series or actually that was an ongoing series because it went all the way to 12 issues so Issues 1 through 6 are collected in Volume 4. There's more Derek Robertson on covers. And then the rest of it was collected in Volumes 5, The Road to Kings. And then it's kicked off, Volume 5 of the Conan Omnibus is kicked off with the new Volume 2 Conan the Barbarian series. And that wrapped up all the way in Volume 7. And that leads us to King Conan, which I assume was going to be their next work. But when they lost the license to Marvel... They probably were like, you know, it's not worth it, so let's not release it. And we got this instead. So this sadly will be the final one. These will be collected in Epic Editions by Marvel. 
eventually. I'm sure the entire run will be. Kind of like what they're doing with their Star Wars Dark Horse stuff when they got the rights back. And what this book and what this book collects are issues 1 through 24. Even though they were really labeled as miniseries when they were coming out, there's 24 issues in here. Plus the 15th issue of Conan the Sumerian. So that's what's collected within these pages. And these are adaptations of Robert E. Howard's short stories, The Scarlet Citadel, uh, The Phoenix and the Sword, and The Wolves Beyond the Border. And it also has the adaptation of The Hour of the Dragon novel. And that's what makes up the miniseries, which eventually make up the 24-issue run. I love the first Colossal Conan. I think it's an awesome representation of the character. It's I love Robert E. Howard's original books. And I was a fan of the movies, and then, of course, the cartoon from the 90s. I don't know if you all remember that or not. And then I never got really around to reading a lot of the Roy Thomas stuff from Marvel. So I'm really excited about those coming up, omnibuses from Marvel. They've already solicited the first two from that run, and they also solicited the first Savage sort of Conan omnibus. That was the magazine size black and white series that was coincided with the ongoing series. Excited to read those for the first time, because I've heard so much about it, but they were before my time, before I got huge into Conan. What really got me into Conan was the Dark Horse stuff. And I read most of the Sumerian by now, because I got that a couple of weeks ago. And it's actually pretty good. It's, it's not as bad as I thought it was. It's not as classic as the Kurt Busiek stuff. So I am excited to read this, because it's the same writer and the same team. And I can't really flip too much through here. Yeah, it's gorgeous because I have not read it. So let's see what kind of extra goodies we have here in the back. Let's see, here is a nice, beautiful artwork. I mean, what is Conan without gorgeous half-naked women or naked women in general? Okay, and here is the bonus gallery. So we have uncolored pages. This is Derek Robertson. Oh, man, these are gorgeous. Yeah, that's also Derek Robertson. So you have his layout, and then you have his finished pencils and inks. Variant covers. That looks like the ending of Conan the Destroyer. One of my favorite endings of all time. And one that I talk about during the fantasy movie quotes that Amanda and I did a video on, which comes out Saturday. Pencil pages from the inside of the book. Let's look a little bit more through here. We have some pinups. Now oh, that one's awesome. <laughs> that one's pretty cool too. Wow, that is gorgeous. And then the final page, which is just the pencil page by Thomas Yorello. And that's the contents of the final Colossal Conan book by Dark Horse. Like I said, I had to get mine through Amazon and I guess I got lucky because I ordered it in that little small time frame that they had because right now they are stating that this book will usually ship one to two months. And we all know Dark Horse isn't going to print anymore. So there's no way that they're going to ship those books out later on. And that's just an automatic message created by the system. So they have to put something there. Part of the reason why I do these overviews is because I want to make sure people know what they're spending their money on and whether those third party prices are worth it or not. So don't check your usual places. Check places like Walmart, Barnes & Noble, and places like that, or your local comic book shops to see if this book is still out there somewhere. Again, this was Omar. Thank you very much for joining me. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to check out our weekly show that comes out every Thursday and our live show that comes out every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.